Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video, we are diving into an application I've mentioned a few times before, before, but I don't think I've ever made a dedicated video on it. And if I have, it's been a while ago now. But in today's video, we are jumping into an application called Confluence, which is from um, Atlassian. And if you've uh, never heard about uh, Atlassian. They have made or they own uh, Trello. They have uh, Jira, so a couple of applications you might be familiar with. And they also have Confluence, which is sort of their Notion style uh, application. A lot of a lot of project uh, project management tools now have Notion style applications because Notion got so popular. But you have Confluence, you have Trello, you have uh, Jira, and if you use Jira, then Confluence is probably the best application out there but in today's video we are just going over some of the fundamentals to show you how this application works so you can figure whether or not this is worth a shot and this could be either your second brain or even your project management tool. So we will just start off with the pricing of this. So if we take a look at the pricing, you have a free plan, which is free forever for 10 users, which is quite good. That gives you unlimited pages, unlimited spaces, uh, databases, templates, up to three active whiteboards even, 10 automation rule runs per month, uh, support for apps and integration, and support from the Atlassian uh, community you get uh, two gigs of file storage as well with the standard plan which is 5.16 each month so this will change depending on how many users I put so if I put 10 for example this is more expensive so uh, 6.40 will be uh, the pricing plan if I just put one that will stay the same so this depends on how many people you actually have on a hundred it will actually still stay the same but uh 300 let's try that again so that will make it a little cheaper so it all depends on how many people you have and this is the monthly if I change to annually uh, this will be uh 650 which doesn't sound right does it so the yearly or annual uh, planning is a little weird because it just turns into being 650, uh, even though it should be closer to around 100. So let's just go off of the monthly plan, but that uh, seems a little uh, weird. It might just be me, but uh, 650 definitely is not it for one user. 640 per user per month sounds uh, more uh, right, which comes in at I think it's around 72 73 uh, per uh, user per uh, year that is how it is supposed to be so that is the billing plan of this for most people like the free plan will be more than enough now let's jump into the actual application so here you can see uh, your Trello this is more of like uh, Atlassian dashboard so I can jump into different things I can jump into Jira from here to Trello to the support but today we are actually jumping into confluence and uh it takes a second for me to get in but now we are in confluence and i have it seems like i have done a video here but uh, as you can see this is more tailored towards uh teams so you have like your uh team here this would be what you would call your main uh dashboard uh, but I won't go too deep into how this look. This is a template, so you can change that. But let's go ahead and add a new page. You can also add a new database, smart link or folder. But we will just add a page for now because that's what we are testing out. So I will give this a name of test. They have templates or you can start blank like I am doing. You can do backslash to see all of the different things we have here. So a bunch of different options a bunch of different formatting options you can have um like in every other application the ai writes something for you you can have bullet lists you can have error panel success panel you can have different column layouts so if you want multiple columns like you saw uh, i think it was in one of these you saw like a multiple column here you have a multiple column layout so you can do that as well uh, and there are quite a few other options code snippets I saw over there you have like your basic uh, heading options you can actually connect this with Jira and have Jira issues here Excel chart 
profile picture, like almost everything you would want and probably the things you would not want uh, as well. You have a bunch of options, even uh, embedding Word files. But this also works with basic markdown. So if I do like this, uh, that actually works. Let's see if it works with tasks as well. And it does, and I can assign this to myself. So there are quite a few things you can do here. One thing I uh, found interesting about um, Confluence is that you actually have to publish these pages. So I have to uh, publish this before it is shared with my team. Um, so that is just something I found uh, that you should keep in mind. I have to publish my pages. This is currently just a draft, but I can publish it like this and I can choose the location of uh, where it is published. I can also click the layouts button right here because you have your formatting options, at least some of them from up here as well. You don't have to do backslash or markdown, but here you can actually see the multi uh, layout uh, column here with two columns or even up to five columns here as uh, so you can have uh, this multi uh, column layout here as well. Uh, and this is more for like, I would say note taking because you have the ability to link different notes together as well. Uh, so I could actually link uh, notes. You do that by inserting a link right here. So pressing the link and you can actually click on one of these and it will add the link and you have different ways of viewing uh, that link. So I can uh, view it like this or uh, I can view it like this uh, or you can just choose a bunch of different options but you actually have a way for you to link things as well. Uh, so there are uh, backlinking. I wouldn't actually call it backlinking. It is more like hyperlinking a page to another but I actually like the fact that when I do backslash link and press enter, I actually get the option to choose from um, from one of the things I already have. And I can also search for them. So I can search for tasks list, for example. Uh, but you can also add databases in here. So let's go ahead and try uh, that. I won't save my uh, or publish uh, or save my page because I'm not going to use it anyways. But this is something a lot of people are familiar with. And you have a couple of templates. That is not what we are going to choose today. But you can also actually import a CSV or connect it to Jira. But that is not what we are going to do. We are going to just take a look at the different options here. So here you have uh, a text field. You have a tag field. Uh, a user field so I can actually have myself in here I think I can so you can actually tag people this is great for like task management but you have a bunch of options here as well so I have date I have user I have smart link uh, I have um, number media uh, and files text page link this is actually exciting uh, I if I press here, I can actually link this back to one of my pages. So let's say uh, I were to like have a task uh, that I wanted in here, but I also wanted to link back to the notes. I could actually do that. Uh, it is something you can do in a lot of different applications, uh, but it is great to see that they have it because the databases in here are actually uh, quite uh, new. They haven't been here for uh, long uh, because back in, I think it was back in like February, March, something like that, when I tested it out last year uh, for work reasons, uh, it actually didn't have the databases fully out yet. But you have uh, different views here. So you can have card, you can have board, uh, Kanban board or a card view, or you can also choose to filter these. So your basic databases uh, is what you have inside of here. And that covers a lot of the basic stuff inside of this application. And my thoughts on it is that it is a really good application. I really do like it, but it feels much more complex than uh, a lot of the other similar applications. So if we are not going to uh, like talk about Notion and compare it to Notion, another option is something like X-Styles, even though there is a difference there, but they are both trying to do some of the same things and I feel like something like X-Tiles is much much 
easier but in general uh, I think this is more tailored towards uh, developers mainly because of the Jira integration and the way uh, it seamlessly works with the Atlassian suite I think uh, again this is much more tailored towards developers uh, or at least people who have used applications like this a lot uh, as a beginner I would probably not recommend jumping into something like Confluence but in general I think it is a really a really good application uh, and the pricing on it even though the yearly pricing was a little weird like the monthly one is really really good so if you have a lot of uh, if you have tried a lot of applications like this you want into the Atlassian suite maybe you're already using Jira or you just want to try out something else I think Confluence is a, a good choice it is actually worth looking into at least even though I might not recommend it for everyone I think it is for a lot of people it is worth just taking a look at but that covers it for today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can thank you so so much for watching today's video